Hey everyone, welcome back and thanks for tuning in to this week's leadership class. Of all the books I've read, there's a short two hour read called A Tale of Three Kings. It sticks out to me as the most profound reading experience that I've ever had. But maybe because it was the first book that I ever read cover to cover without being able to put it down. It's also because uh, it significantly shaped my view of leadership. The book tells the story of Absalom and his attempt to overthrow his father, David, as king. And I find it extremely relevant because we all find ourselves as aspiring leaders wondering how we're supposed to handle our relationship with our leaders, the people who perhaps occupy the positions that we want to hold one day. I'm a big supporter of personal ambition and personal vision, so I don't see anything wrong with wanting to have a higher position one day. But the story of Saul, David, and Absalom shows us that there's a right way to go about it and a wrong way. You know that Absalom didn't go about establishing his leadership the right way because at the end of the story, he ends up dead and David is still king. David, on the other hand, also thought he was supposed to be king while Saul was still on the throne. He even had a prophetic word and had been anointed by a prophet, but he went about his establishing his leadership in a much different way. In fact, David never enforced the word of God about his calling. He let God enforce it. And that's the lesson of Absalom. It's not our responsibility to establish for ourselves our leadership role. We need to show up. We need to develop ourselves as leaders. We need to be diligent with everything that is placed in our hands to do. And then we need to trust God. And we never try to build our leadership following by taking down another leader. You never know. Like Absalom, the leader you're going after may in fact be God's choice for that position. Here's some quick keys to help you. Number one, be diligent. It's easy to feel powerless sometimes when it comes to promotion. Since the Bible says that promotion comes from the Lord, it can feel like your role is just to sit around and wait for God. That's not entirely true though. The Bible also says that whatever your hand finds to do, do it with all your mind. And that same Bible makes it very clear that the Lord is a rewarder of faithfulness. Your promotion to greater leadership is not just a waiting game, it's a faithfulness game. What are you doing with the influence that God has already given you? Here's the second one. Honor other leaders. Absalom sat at the gate of the city as people were coming to meet with King David. He talked to all of the king's people, trying to win them over to his side with his care and his wisdom, all the while tearing down David. He was trying to build his leadership at the expense of another leader. Now that's a surefire way to never end up moving into higher leadership. Trusting God means building up the leaders over you in the eyes of the people. Honor them and God will honor you. Dishonor them and God actually takes it personally. Romans chapter 13 says that there is no authority except from God and those which exist are established by God. So when we cross anyone in authority, we're crossing God too. Not the best way to be entrusted with more leadership. Here's the last key. Be patient. You're developing more quickly than you might think. When I think about all the things that are in my heart that I want to do with my life, sometimes I feel like I'm moving really slow. You may feel the same way, but try this exercise. Instead of looking forward, look backward. How far has God brought you in the last five years, in the last three years? When I think about it from this perspective, two things always happen. First, I start feeling like God is totally moving me much more quickly along than I thought. And second, I become very thankful that he didn't entrust me with more leadership responsibility earlier. When I think about how much I've learned and how much I've changed, I am thankful that I wasn't placed into situations that I couldn't handle previously. I find myself trusting God a lot more, knowing that he knows things I don't know about what I'm lacking and that he'll work those things into me, 
preparing me for the great future he has for me. All right, check the discussion questions online and thanks again for stopping by.